Heavenly Father, your word is a light for our path, showing us the way of love and wisdom. As we reflect on today's readings, fill our hearts with the love that you have poured into our lives through your Son, Jesus Christ. Reading 1, 1 Corinthians 12 31 to 13 13, asterisk, asterisk, but earnestly desire the higher gifts, and I will show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith, so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For our knowledge is imperfect and our prophecy is imperfect. But when the perfect comes, the imperfect will pass away. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall understand fully, even as I have been fully understood. So faith, hope, love abide. These three, but the greatest of these is love. Lord, you have shown us the more excellent way, the way of love. Help us to live in the fullness of this love, which is patient and kind, not envious or boastful. May our lives reflect this love in all that we do. For without love, we are nothing. Teach us to bear, believe, hope, and endure all things, trusting in the power of your love which never ends. Gospel, Luke 7 verses 31 to 35. To what then shall I compare the men of this generation? And what are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another. We piped to you, and you did not dance. We wailed, and you did not weep. For John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine. And you say, he has a demon, the Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and you say, Behold, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners, yet wisdom is justified by all her children. Lord Jesus, help us to have open hearts that can recognize your wisdom. In times of misunderstanding and judgment, may we not fall into the traps of our generation, but rather seek to see your truth in all things. Guide us to live in a way that reflects the wisdom of love, compassion, and mercy. Father, as we live our daily lives, help us to grow in faith, hope, and especially in love. May we live in such a way that reflects your divine wisdom, embracing all people with compassion and understanding. Let your love be the foundation of everything we say and do, and guide us to always choose the path of love and truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.